We'd like to welcome Ai Miyazato into the interview room. Congratulations, a great week for you. I know not quite the finish that you had hoped for, mm -hmm. but just take me through that day, and it was pretty exciting for all of us golf fans out there to watch what was a great battle between you and Stacy over those final 18 holes. Well, it was a lot of fun out there, you know. Um, I, um, I was, you know, four shots ahead um, from Stacy, but uh, you know she played really solid out there, and then uh, I played really good too. You know, 20 under on this golf course is it's really good, I think. And uh, um, overall, it's just uh, um, I had a good day. Um, I felt good feeling, and uh, my play was really solid. Just the one bad shot on 16, and it was a little disappointed, but one bad shot in this week, and just you know, not bad. I'll take it. So it was a really fun day. And this golf tournament really has been good to you. I mean, a run-up finish last year. You really seem to just <laughs> like playing this golf course. Yeah. Is there something about being here in Arizona that really just makes the best in your game come out? Well, uh, like I said already earlier of this week, you know, um, I have a home in Phoenix, and it feels like a um, you know second home. Uh, over here, so uh, it's just uh, nice and relaxed out there, and it's just uh, so comfortable to playing in this tournament, you know. Um, and also, I have a great memory from last year. I, you know, like you said, I finished the second tie second last year, and then this year it was second place, so a little bit better than last year. <laughs> but you know, it's just uh, yeah, um, the people are really nice in Phoenix, and it just that makes me happy. And you've gotten off to a really good start this season. You've been playing really good golf. How good do you feel about your game right now, just overall, through these first two events that you've played? Well, um, um, my game is in good shape, I think, you know. I made a lot of birdies out there today, and it uh, seems like my driving, driving distance is a little bit longer than last year, and uh, my putting is really good, and, uh, um, you know, I really uh, control myself really well out there. So um, only two tournaments finished, but uh, I I'm pretty feel good. We talk about players having motivation all the time, and Stacy, we knew, was a motivated player heading into this yeah. final round. Mm -hmm. She had the chance, she knew, with a win to take over the top spot in the Rolex rankings. And then with the misfortune that she had yesterday, it seemed to almost give her a little mm -hmm. extra motivation. Just what did you see from her out there today that you could just see how kind of focused she was in on that? Well, um, just... Uh you know, confidence, I think. It's just, uh, um, she looked like bigger than, so much bigger than last a couple of years. And, uh, um, you know, it's just playing really solid right now. Um, and uh, also, I like her a lot because her, you know, personality is really nice, you know. She's sometimes um, saying joking in the round and it just makes me laugh. And she's really friendly. And uh, um, I think, I, and I know also um, she's working hard, you know, these three years, like, working hard no, more than anybody, you know. So I think she deserved this. And, uh, um, you know, um, it's already, it's... Still two tournaments finished, so, you know, it's going to be a really fun season this year. I was going to say, that race for number one is going to be a tight one, it seems, up yeah. at the top. But, you know, she won't officially take over until tomorrow. She's projected right now to take over that spot. But you've been there in that top spot. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for her about all the pressures that come with being in no. that top spot? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm sure she would be fine. <laughs> I don't need my advice. I think she don't need my advice. <laughs> Questions for I? I just on the 16th hole, just what happened on the approach shot, and then we were wondering how come you decided to take the drop in the desert, maybe as opposed to going back to where your ball was originally in the fairway and, and hit your um, fourth shot from there. Um, well, let's see. Um, the first, uh, my shot was like in, like totally in, the, in between club. You know, I hit the pitching edge, but then I, my instincts was said that that was an easy nine, so it was kind of a little bit uh, uh, like indecisive. And uh, that's why I pulled my shot, and uh, and I went there and I take a look around, but it just it seems like um, not easy from anywhere, you know. Um, and I decided I take a drop in almost like in a bunker position, and I thought just that we had that little backstop behind the pin, so I thought I can make a stop a little bit more. Um, but uh, it, it was kind of a little plagued when I dropped, so. Um, it was hard, um, but it just, uh, you know, happened like that. It's just, um, you know, a little unlucky, I thought. So, uh, well, I'm um, just get over it. So, uh, which did, so which did you hit on 16, the pitching wedge or the nine? Pitching wedge. And, and so you weren't committed to the shot? Yes, but that wasn't 100%, you know. It was like almost maybe 60, 70%. 
Uh, but it just still sometimes happen like that during the tournament. You know, you can't hit 100% like every single shot. So uh, um, I had a good conversation between my caddy, and uh, um, it wasn't like really solid commitment, but I was still happy to hit the pitching wedge. So how about some tips for people in terms of <laughs> how you handle those in between sh in between club shots? How do you how and stay committed to them? Oh, <laughs> um, well, we just the, well. <laughs> um, if you um, if you in a situation like that in between shot, then take a one club ahead. I would say because I I hit the one club less today. You know, it's just that eight uh, three quarter shot is much easier than um, you know hit the full shot. I think so. The that's my advice. <laughs> Were you surprised the ball rolled as far as it did? It hit in the grass and just kept going and going into the desert. Well, um, I saw the bounce. It looked to me, um, it was almost like straight bounce. I didn't know that um, it didn't, I mean, it went all the way down to the end. But uh, I know the back pin and the desert not really spacing on the left side, so I knew it, though. Any more questions for I? Well, thank you very right, much. Thank you.